Welcome guys, this is Srikant here. In this video, I am going to quickly demonstrate about uh, how to use SQL CMD in using SSMS. Okay, so first of all, uh, why we have to use this feature? Okay, so there may be cases where we may want to connect to two or more SQL instances from a query window okay so whenever we want to connect to a server what exactly we do we just go here and just change the server name okay so uh, and then we have to select whatever we want and click the connect okay so this is what we do if you if you want to connect to 10 SQL or instance that is how you do so in this uh, video I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, connect to multiple servers from a query window itself okay so for that you have to just go to connect to some SQL server and just click on new query okay so new query so and then what you have to do is uh, you have to type some query like this colon connect and then uh, to the instance which you want to connect you can see here I have connected to node 1 slash lab 01 right so instead of connecting to the same one I'm going to connect to this one from this window okay so envo node 2 node 2 slash lab 01 okay so you can see that uh, it is throwing some error like even if I try to run it it will throw some error this because we have to enable the SQL CMD mode from the query window okay so uh, for that you have to go to this query option and just select this option SQL CMD mode okay so you can see the uh, styling of it has changed so let me just run this command and see what will happen so you can say connecting to this one and connect to this one so so let me write a query here select at it server name okay so if I run this query alone sorry if I run this query alone it will show node 1 slash lab 01 so if I run the whole all the queries in this window it is showing node 2 slash lab 01 so you can you can still see that it is connected to node 1 slash lab 01 so in the message you can see that connecting to node 2 slash lab 01 and then it is trying to disconnect okay so now see so now we have understood how to connect to a another SQL instance from the SQL CMD mode so now if you want to connect to more uh, more SQL servers from the same window that's where the uh, like uh, it like it's not about complexity like that's where we have to apply some tricks okay so so like usually what I will do so I will just go here and connect node 1 slash lab 01 so so I'm just trying like I want to connect to this server run this query and then I want to connect back to the say uh, to the same server and run different query okay select okay so if I run this query let's see what will happen so so in order to ensure what like how things are happening what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, I'm going to change the way results will be displayed. I'm going to mention results test. Okay, so just click here, and you can see that uh, both of the selected server name is showing node one slash lab one only. Okay, and you can see that initially it it, it is connecting to node two slash lab zero one, and then it is immediately getting disconnected, and then connect into node 1 slash lab 01 and then it is executing both the queries uh, you can observe that the queries are not happening sequentially here so whatever SQL CMD connection uh, like commands are there they are they are being executed first and then the actual T SQL commands are executing next so in order to ensure that we connect to node 2 initially and then node 1 in later so we have to add a go here okay so you, now you can see that the initial query is executed node 2 slash lab 01 is uh, uh, shown and then uh, node 1 is connected and then node 1 lab. so this is how you you can write multiple queries so if I want I can just connect to the node 2 once again okay node 2 node 1 and node okay so actually the, these things uh, the SQL CMD mode is helpful 
uh, when you are trying to run some uh, scripts from PowerShell. Okay, by default, when you try to run ca uh, commands like SQL scripts from uh, PowerShell, uh, you will be able to use these commands directly in your script and then uh, it will connect to the target SQL Server instance and then run the queries, whatever you want. Okay, so but you need to ensure that you are adding appropriate goes or goes in right places then only it will ensure that it is connected to the right SQL server and executing those commands okay so uh, there is one more uh, thing actually which I want to add, add here for example uh, when you are writing general T SQL you may not be able to pass a variable from after the go statement for example if I uh, write something like uh, okay num int okay if I want to use this uh, uh, num here it will be not possible okay it will throw like uh, uh, even though it is not showing error now if i run here it will show that it is not declared so that is when you can use something like this set set var okay and then uh, num okay sorry set var num one okay print so you can see the one number one is displayed here so I am I was able to pass this variable num even after that okay I like with my experience I have seen certain limitations because due to this but you can try those things when you try along like you will be able to understand how exactly this will work and what are the limitations and everything as of now I can say this is not so robust but it has really it has really got some very good potential to expand okay that's it for today uh, thank you so much for watching this video you can add your comments uh, if you have any queries thank you so much